I should have known that you would be here. Professor McGonagall? Good evening, Professor Dumbledore. Are the rumors true? Help us. Professor Dumbledore, sir. Professor McGonagall. No problems, I trust, Tagrid. No, sir. Little tight fell asleep just as we were flying over Bristol. Try not to wake him. There you go. Albus, do you really think it's safe? Leaving him with these people. I've watched them all day. They're the worst sort of muggles imaginable. They really are. The only family he has. This boy will be famous. There won't be a child in our world who doesn't know his name. Exactly. He's far better off growing up away from all of that. Until he is ready. Really, goodbye after all. Good luck, Harry Potter. Up, get up. Now! Funny well. Dad, look, Harry's got a letter! Are you in back? It's mine! Yours? They'll be writing to you. Thank you. 
I demand that you leave at once. You are breaking and entering. <laughs> Dry up, Dursley, you great prune. <laughs> Lloyd, I haven't seen you since you was a baby, Harry, but you're a bit more along than I would have expected, particularly round the middle. <laughs> uh, uh, I'm, I'm not Harry. I, I am. Well, of course you are. I've got something for you. Afraid I may have sat at it at some point, but I imagine it'll taste fine just the same. Baked it myself, words and all. Thank you. It's not every day your young man turns 11 now, is it? Hey? Dear Mr. Potter, we are pleased to inform you that you have been accepted at Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry. He will not be going to tell you! We swore when we took him in we'd put a stop to all this rubbish! You